Our next job is to create the knurling on the end of the spindle, which we're going to put onto here. Now, the first thing we do is oops, select that, make it vertical, vertical, and bring it close. We're going to draw some line. We're going to draw <coughs> a tool to cut our knurling with. Simple triangle, which we will move into position. Or, but before that, we need a helper line. We're going to put a line between there and the center. We'll see in a minute why we do that. Then we're going to shift this part, our tool, by moving that point onto the end of this line. With the up to tool, now we don't need this line anymore in fact it will get in the way it will screw a few things up if we don't get rid of it then we will take that and move the anchor point to the center of where our pattern's going to be so we need to hold the alt key we see that the anchor tool changes color we can now drag it down to the center and release. Now make sure that the create pattern option is, is uh, selected and we can move the radial tool in the direction of the arrow. Now as soon as we see multiple parts all around 360 degrees we can release left mouse button and we see the count is highlighted eight at the moment so we need 30 of these so 30 return then we select the pull tool rotate this a little bit to select all the parts that we want we can see this is one of the parts so double click that and it selects the whole lot we're in the pull tool so the arrow is here it's pointing out of the screen so by pulling backwards with the left mouse button and drag we start to cut through the material we want a depth of 6.5 so we type 6.5 return and there it's done H key and we've got a nice bit of knurling on the end now so that's just what we want so now we're going to put some threading on this part of the spindle and one thing we're going to need is axis around which to put the thread so we select axis up here select the cylinder face axis that gives us an axis we're also going to need a section through it to make drawing the profile of the thread so we select section mode V to place this all nicely vertical for us and now we're going to place a little profile down here to cut our thread in this part of the spindle so we're going to make a, a tool to do that with so select the line up here and we want a simple triangle 2 by 2 which we're going to pare down Tr 
trim tool. We can't make this tool too big, otherwise it won't fit. You'll get an error. So we're now going to cut that even further. You see the sketch tool finds the midpoint of lines for us, which can enable us to take this down nicely. Oops. And that's about right. Now we want to place this in here down at the bottom for us to cut the thread with. So we want that point on this part of the grid, on the midpoint of that rectangle there. Now then, you can't do that directly, it won't find the midpoint of a, of a grid line. So we've got to put some geometry in there to enable us to do that. So we select a rectangle here and we can put a rectangle in there. Now we can move our little tool, find its end point. Then with the up to tool, across here, we can find the midpoint of that line there. A little triangle appears, click and there we go. So to make things simpler, we can delete the bits we don't want. And there's our cutting tool in the start point. So now we can cut our thread. We go into pull. Select the surface we've just made. So you see we've got a surface down there. Revolve. Then we'll have to zoom out and click, click on the axis. Now we've got the revolve options here. Revolve helix. We want to remove metal. So we need to select the minus cut. We've got that there. The height, which is the height of the thread from where it starts to where it's going to finish. Now, seven millimeters will get us beyond there so that would be fine i see the thread pitch is already entered 0.55 is what we need so i'll type the seven and return and there's our thread that's done Home key. Isn't that nice? Beautiful. Now the final part of this exercise is to put the slot down the middle of the shaft here to the bottom of the knurling. So we select that in and just zoom in a bit whoops okay so with this end selected we're going to draw a rectangle here shift key to make a temporary reference move up here we want to be half the width of the slot which is point six two five Turn, click and drag down here somewhere. Width of the slot is 1.25. Return, pull tool, and now we're going to drag this along to make a slot. Now there's a problem I have noticed. We have to select these in parts so. With the control key held down, we can select them individually and drag with the left mouse button. But it does not work as we would like. What has happened? It's only dragged the 
knurled port hasn't put the slot in but I have found if we go back control Z if we go back and select the surface here it selects the top and the bottom part but still we need to select the middle part so control key and click now if we left mouse and click we see it's now cutting through the whole spindle so six whoops six point five return and there we've got our slot in home key right that's all the machining work done on the part well, all we need now is the right color so we've got to display solid so color gray and there it is to tidy up we can select access and delete that and there is the final part hope you enjoyed that stand by for the final parts for the potentiometer, potentiometer which are the solder tags. Bye for now.